It's been a while since I covered a Fine Fine microphone here, so let's cover Fine Fine microphone here. Sure, that's the intro. And this time around, it's the Amplifying AM6, which the fine folk over at Fine Fine have sent over. And while at first I dismissed it as another sort of gamery, sort of streamery, budget to mid range microphone with RGB tacked on, they certainly have an Acer 2 up its sleeve. A lot of it comes down to this dial in the front, which initially I just thought is like a gain dial, which is kind of obvious in a microphone. But no, gain is actually on the side, alongside headphone volume. And then they look more closely and notice the game and chat text on either side. Because that, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the key ideas behind this microphone. Being able to adjust between your volume and the game's volume, you can set these channels individually, and then you can control the levels between these two channels, essentially, on the fly, which is pretty cool. Though it's something that a lot of us simply just do in OBS, it's nice to have a nice physical knob to quickly make those changes, without having to quickly go into OBS and fix a game being too loud or people being too quiet, for example. With this, you can pretty much just set whatever the priority is to be in the spotlight of your content or whatever else you may be doing with the microphone. So you can turn up that chat if you want others to hear you yelling at your teammates in Rainbow Six Siege better. Or turn up the game so everyone can listen to that glorious exposition some random NPCs in the background are providing. The back of the mic also includes a USB Type-C port, and then at the bottom, here's where all the rest of the functions are, including a noise cancelling button, RGB controls, and a headphone jack to monitor your audio. And then finally at the top, there is a mute button, though of course that has the issue of you, you know, tapping your mic and causing noise in order to mute it, which is kind of counterintuitive. And I gotta say, the look of the mic itself has kind of grown on me. It looks pretty nice, especially with all the varied RGB options and the plastic certainly doesn't feel as cheap as it could be. And while it does come with a stand, it can of course be detached and put on an arm instead, if that's what you prefer. This is the mic at full gain. Testing, testing, a runner is the best YouTuber in the world. This is the mic at half gain. Testing, testing, a runner is still the best YouTuber in the world. This is the mic at full gain with a special noise cancelling mode. You be the judge if you want this on or not. And this is the mic at half gain with a special built-in noise cancelling. Meaning that there's only one thing left to discuss, and that is the price. It costs over $50, which for this kind of entry mid-range gamer streamer microphones, that's kind of on the high end. You know, at that point, you may as well throw in a few dollars extra and go for something really, really nice, one of the top players in the audio industry. However, the audio quality is really surprisingly good for the price. And it does try some innovative things and if you look at what this mic offers and you're just salivating at the possibilities it will bring to your workflow then you already know if you want to buy it or not and maybe also check out our patreon because that's always a fantastic deal no matter what plus huge thanks to gavin burns just in rage i love ronyak def pender Badish Boker, patrick harrison not a pseudonym meg sumner shane allcroft lensby level up and robert sanders but anyway that's what it's i hope you enjoyed this video if you didn't remember subscribe like whatever and i'll see you all in whatever i make next goodbye everyone good bye Thank you.